Hey everyone, I want to tell you the story of one billion dollars. The first thing we're going to do is obtain one billion dollars. This will be easy. The second thing we're going to do is we're very generous, so we're going to buy mom, dad, brother, sister, and ourselves a nice house, a luxury car, and a Lamborghini, each just for fun. After that, we're going to see if we have enough money to fix the pipes in Flint, Michigan. And then when we're done doing that act of charity, uh, we're never going to work again in our lives or see if we have enough money left over so that we never have to work again in our lives. So the first step is to obtain one billion dollars. And like I said, this will be easy. Watch how easy this is. Here is fifty thousand dollars. That's about uh, what, you know, uh, average salary is in America. Here is another $50,000, which means $100,000, which is way more than most people make. If you're making $100,000 a year, you're doing pretty darn good. Most people are lucky to make around $50,000. It's about the median salary. Okay, so we copy that. $200,000, dollars $400,000, $500,000, $500,000, $700,000, $800,000, $900,000, a $1,000,000 with an M dollars right here on the screen. This is one million with an M dollars. Right? If you have a million dollars by the time you retire, I think you're doing pretty good. I think you need like 1.5 to 2.5 million to comfortably retire, but I don't think hardly anyone is going to get that. Certainly not many people from my generation anyway. Um, so that's a million dollars on the screen, but let's keep going because we want one billion dollars with a B. So $2 million, $3 million, $4 million, $5 million, $6 million, $7 million, $8 million, $9 million, $10 million on the screen. Maybe if you hit like the mega jackpot, you might get $10 million. But probably no one will ever see this much money in their entire lives ever. And no one we ever know will ever have this much money in their lives ever. And if you do, good for you. Because um, no one in my circles has this much that I'm aware of. Anyway, that's $10 million. 20 million, 30 million, 40 million, 50 million, 60 million, 70 million, 80 million, 90 million, 100 million dollars is now on the screen. This is 100 million dollars, but we're not there. We're not at a billion. In fact, we're only a tenth of the way there. So let me copy this and scroll all the way down to the bottom of the 100 million dollars. 200 million, 300 million, 400 million, 500 million, halfway there, 600 million, 700 million, 800 million, 900 million, 1 billion with a B. $1 billion is now on the screen. This is what $1 billion with a B dollars looks like. It's just a pile of money stacked high as you can count. This is one. $1 billion. So I'm going to stop randomly over here. Now, remember I said the first thing we're going to do, because we're so generous, we have a billion dollars and we want to give some love to our family. So we're going to buy a house for our mom and our dad and our sister and our brother and ourselves. We're going to buy a house. Now, I think the median price is somewhere in the neighborhood of like 150 to 250, um, 150,000 to $250,000 median home price in the United States. Um, but we're going to go and just get a $300,000 house, just because we're very generous. So here's a house for mom and dad, that's $300,000. Here's a house for our brother, $300,000. Here's a house for our sister, $300,000. Here is a house for me, ourselves, for $300,000. And you know what, let's get mom and dad a vacation home because they deserve it because they're so wonderful. Boom, just like that. So I just bought, in fact, a bonus house. I just added a bonus house just because. So I bought everyone a house for $300,000 per house. Now, luxury cars, I think $50,000 is about what a decent model luxury car is. We're not going to go too crazy here and get a $100,000 luxury car. We may not have enough money. So let's get one car for mom, one car for dad, one car for sister, one car for brother, one car for me. Nope, I'm greedy. I actually want two cars. Just kidding. All right, so there are the cars. I just bought them. A little greedy at the end, but that's okay. All right, so now we all got those luxury cars, but we're not done. I want to buy Lamborghinis for everyone. Those, I think the 2018, 2019 Lamborghinis start at around $300,000.
a little bit more actually, but we'll just call it 300 for the purpose of illustration. So that's 100,000, that's 200,000, here's 300,000. That's mom's Lamborghini. That's dad's Lamborghini. There's sister's Lamborghini and brother's Lamborghini. And let's get my Lamborghini and let's put $200,000 worth of extras on top of my Lamborghini because I'm the billionaire and I can do what I want. There it is. So I just bought a house, just bought a nice $50,000 luxury car. I just bought a handful of Lamborghinis for me, my sister, my brother, my mom, and my dad. Still scrolling through my pile of money. Okay, but that's not all the charity I wanted to do. I also want to go and I want to fix the pipes in Flint, Michigan. By the way, did you see where I took the money out of before? Good, good eye if you did. In fact, if you did, I'm just going to give you uh, a million dollars because you're so uh, keen-eyed. So let's start with a fresh pack of money here. Now, how much? How much to fix Flint? reimburse Flint up to $97 million, right? So let's go here. Each of these is 10. So that's 10 million, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. That's $90 million that I just selected. Now that did seem like a lot of money. That was $90 million, but it wasn't 90 million. It was $97 million, right? So one, two, three, four, five, six. Up there is six, I'll just delete it. Uh, and seven, 97 million. These things always go over budget anyway. So the other one, two, three million, I'm just gonna spend. So I just dropped $100 million on Flint. Uh, and now the pipes are fixed. And my mom and my dad have a house, uh, and they have a nice luxury car, and they have, um, what else do they have? Lamborghinis, and now Flint is fixed. But that's not enough. I don't ever have to want to work another day in my life. And I'm wondering if I have enough money here such that I'll never have to work again in my life. Like I said, $50,000 is about the median salary in the United States. So if I delete this right here, that's one year of work gone. Right? The entire row is consisting of 10 of these things. So that's 10 years of work. Most people tend to work about 30 years. So that's 20 years of work and 30 years of work. And frankly, people from my generation and younger may never actually retire if you think about it. So that's probably like 40 years of work maybe. So. I just deleted 40 years of work where each year I'm making $50,000. And this is all the money I have left after doing all those things. That's $1 billion. That's $1 billion. Jeff Bezos has all of this plus another 150 of these because he has about $150 billion at any given time, at least right now in 2019. So, that's the story of a billion dollars. I hope you found this helpful. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Please share it with your friends and uh, have a nice day. Oh, I must state, I have to thank this guy, YouTube user Reckful. Uh, his Twitter handle is Byron Bernstein. He did the original video of a billion dollars. I owe this inspiration to him, and I think his video is much better. Uh, it is much shorter, uh, but he does curse, so unfortunately I cannot share his video with my students, but I can share this one. All right. So thank you, Mr. Byron Bernstein, Mr. Reckful, whatever your name is. I appreciate it. And now I bid you all farewell.